Parents in Pierce County say they are talking to their kids tonight after finding out a 13 year old in Spanaway pointed a rifle at other students at a bus stop. And right now that seventh grader is in custody. Tina Patel shows us how deputies found the gun and a backpack full of ammunition at that bus stop. After sheriff's deputies got the call, they came here to the bus stop and searched these nearby woods. They found the rifle as well as a backpack filled with hundreds of rounds of ammunition. Jamie Larson is thankful the incident at Cedar Crest Middle School this morning was just a close call. Who, who knows what would have happened if it, if it hadn't been exposed at the bus stop and actually came to school. Two students saw a seventh grade boy point a rifle at them while they were waiting for the bus stop on 10th Avenue East. Sheriff's deputies found the gun in a backpack with 300 rounds of ammunition hidden in the woods near the bus stop a few hours later. Even after the kid hid the gun, you know, uh, somebody else could have found it. It could have been tragedy. So, you know, it was just a really good thing. The two students immediately told the school office what they saw. This school has the type of climate where kids feel safe enough to come forward with information to help them feel safer and to help their peers feel safer at school. And that was a blessing. That was really good that that happened like that. You know, the kids actually stepped up. Those kids should be congratulated. The boy went to school and was confronted by the principal. He tried running off but was caught and turned over to deputies. We're not sure what his intentions were because he's giving us multiple stories. We have heard the rumors that he was going to bring a gun to school because he was mad at person or persons, but those are not substantiated at this point. Deputies know the boy got the rifle from his grandfather's gun safe. Now they're trying to find two other weapons his grandfather says are missing. A 22 caliber Ruger Mark III semi-automatic rifle and a 44 caliber Smith & Wesson handgun. Ammunition for that handgun was found in the woods. Parents tell me they are talking to their kids about what to do if they ever see another student with a weapon. As a parent, we should. We should always let our kids know about the surrounding things that's going on because they get caught up in it. And as teachers, they teach us what to look for on a lockdown. They teach the staff, hey, do this with your kids. But do the kids actually know what to do if they're not in a classroom? That 13-year-old is spending the night at the juvenile detention center in Tacoma tonight. His case will be reviewed by prosecutors in the morning. They'll decide what charges he could face and when he might face the judge. In Spanaway, Tina Patel, Q13 Fox News. Yeah, see something, say something.